Well, WJZ continues to follow the latest developments in the wrongful death lawsuit of a Cockeysville native, Yardley Love. That civil trial underway right now with our killer, George Hughley, taking the stand. The University of Virginia lacrosse player was found dead inside her off campus apartment nearly 12 years ago. Hughley is also serving time in prison for murder, but now faces financial responsibility too. Christina Mendez has details on what's happening in the trial. Love's mother is looking to hold Hughley liable for her then 22 year old daughter's death. This lawsuit aims to get more than $30 million in damages. Yardley Love was a daughter, a sister, lacrosse player, and an aspiring lawyer. But the University of Virginia student's life was taken after on again, off again boyfriend George Hughley brutally beat her. She was found dead inside her off campus apartment in 2010. Prosecutors say Hughley was binge drinking that day and was in a fit of rage over Love being in a relationship with someone else. While Hughley serves 23 years in prison for second degree murder, the mother of Love wants him to face financial consequences. This week, a long sought civil lawsuit trial began. This afternoon, Hughley testified on the stand. To the jury, the Love family lawyer Paul Beckman says, quote, she died as a result of a vicious and brutal beating. The defendant's attorney, Matthew Green, admits to jurors the Love family is entitled to compensation, but argues Hughley's actions do not meet requirements to award punitive damages, citing this interrogation video where Green says his client couldn't believe Love died. She's not dead. No way she's dead. There's no way. I can't do it. No way. Green says after his client was found guilty, quote, justice has been done. But despite the conviction, the pain of love's loss will never be shaken by family. In 2013, WJZ sat down to talk with them. You keep thinking and believing that this isn't real. In her memory, the One Love Foundation was made to educate young people about abusive relationships. This lawsuit was originally filed back in 2012 but was voluntarily dismissed. It was refiled by the Love family in 2018. For WJZ, I'm Christina Mendez.